What's up YouTube, Big Daddy here. <clears throat> Today, we're gonna be reviewing a local establishment called Crafted. C-R-A-F-T apostrophe D. That's Crafted, check it out. What's up, YouTube? Big Daddy here. It's time for another food review. All right, guys, this is going to be a slightly different food review than you're used to from my channel. Usually what happens is I go into the restaurant, I order the food, I bring it out to the car, I eat it, I talk about it while I'm eating it. In this case, um, it, this is a local food review for a place by my house, a place called Crafted. It's C-R-A-F-T apostrophe D, Crafted. And they specialize um, in, well, they have a lot of different foods. They have really great burgers there. Uh, they're each about a half pound. They actually come with two quarter pound patties on each burger. One of the things they feature there is a, uh, an item called pig candy, okay? And basically all it is is candied bacon. So they have a burger there called peanut butter and pig. And when I heard about this, I thought, that is so weird, I have got to try it. I have never had peanut butter on a hamburger before. Um, I've never had, I've had bacon on a hamburger many times. I've never had candied bacon on a, on a hamburger. And I've never ever had peanut butter and candied bacon on a burger. I thought, that's so weird and funky, I gotta check it out. So, uh, I tried it, and the reason I'm doing this review this way, where I'm talking about it, um, is because when I was in the restaurant, um, I noticed, I wanted to do it while I was sitting there eating it like I normally do, but I noticed it was extremely loud in the restaurant. They had a lot of music playing. These are two <laughs> big uh, no-nos when it comes to making YouTube videos. A, if it's loud and you can't hear me, what's the point? B, if they're playing lots of uh, popular music in the background and YouTube cuts out the, et the, the audio of the video, again, what's the point? Or worse, they demonetize it and give me a copyright strike. That's not good either. So what I decided to do was I shot some um, some B-roll of the uh, outside and what, if you guys don't know what B-roll is, basically it's just, you know, shots of, of, of the restaurant itself. Um, stuff that ha doesn't have a whole lot to do with the review of the food itself, but you know, shots of the restaurant, what it looked like on the outside, the inside, things like that. And um, yeah, so uh, that's kind of what I did there. Um, and then I ordered, I went in, I ordered my burger. And when this thing shows up at my table, okay, they bring it out to you on a tray, okay, like a metal tray that was like, you know, like a kind of a lunch tray, like you would take to your, you have at camp, you know, and it, you know, you put your lunch on it and then you go sit at your table. So this whole tray is full. The peanut butter and pig burger is a half pound of beef, candied bacon, and peanut butter on a pretzel roll. So when this thing shows up at my table on that tray, I've got this bun with this loaded up with this nice layer of crunchy peanut butter, not even creamy, crunchy peanut butter. I've got this nice giant burger, two big strips of candied bacon laying over the top. And that's it, okay? You just take the bun, put it on top with the peanut butter on the burger, you eat it. I mean, I guess you could put ketchup on there, but that sounds, or mustard, or any other condiments you want, but that sounds a little weird to put that kind of stuff on a burger that contains peanut butter on it. With the bacon, it would have been fine, but peanut butter and ketchup and mustard together, just, I don't think that would have went, so I didn't. I wanted to go with exactly what came on the burger to see what that tasted like. And let me tell you, it was interesting. I don't think it was the, best, my most favorite burger. I mean, the beef itself was awesome. And the candied bacon was good, although a little sweet. But when you throw that peanut butter on there with the candied bacon, it almost was too sweet 
uh, for my palate. I, I tend to like things a little more on the salty side. I err towards the side of salty than sweet. But I will say it wasn't a bad burger. It was good. It was actually quite tasty. And the size was awesome. They also had a nice thing of home cut fries that came with it. You could have swapped out the fries for tater tots or onion rings. Um, I think there was other things you could have gotten um, on the side with it besides um, fries or tater tots. There was other things, like vegetables, fruit, um, different, different uh, side things that they have there. Um, it was pretty good. I, I thought it was a, a, a nice, a nice size burger and a nice, a nice uh, tasting burger. I just didn't think it was my favorite burger of all time. I would say, for the peanut butter and pig burger at Crafted, I'm going to give it a eight out of ten, a so rock solid eight out of ten. Um, they have a. By the way, when we were sitting there, they brought other people's food out to the tables around us. They have a Philly cheesesteak there that's two feet long. And they cut it in half. And you're, it, it says in, in the menu, you know, you can share it with other friends. But it's two stinking feet long. It's huge. Um, it, 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 looked, it looked really good. I also saw a guy sitting across from me getting uh, chicken and waffles, which looked amazing chicken and waffles so those they have lots of other things there that i wanted to try in fact when they he got the chicken and waffles it was like a nice belgium waffle with two huge chicken breasts kind of piled up like this and a big knife through the middle so i mean it all held it all together like a big mountain of goodness so i mean they have lots of great food there it was really a nice and uh, cool environment um they have 30 beers well i would say 30 beverages on tap not all were beers some were most were beers and ipas and things but there was also some hard ciders on tap as well which i love because i love hard ciders they have a pineapple hard cider there cider boys pineapple hard cider which is out of this world so i mean they have lots of good things if you are in the joliet naperville plainfield uh, illinois area look up crafted and go check it out i mean if you're in Anywhere in the western suburbs of Chicago, definitely go check out Crafted. I mean, if you're in the farther suburbs, you, you can go check it out too, but it's going to be a little bit of a drive for you. But this is right around the corner for me. I mean, it literally took me 10 minutes to get there. But it was really, really great. I thought it was a nice place. Definitely worth checking out. And the environment was good. The only thing I will criticize them for, so as far as their restaurant inside, there's two things. One, they have an outdoor kind of a uh, indoor outdoor environment there but they leave the inside doors they have inside doors that go out into it so you can walk from the restaurant go into the restaurant and walk out to the patio area but they leave they left those they leave those doors open so it's 95 degrees outside you got the air on in the restaurant and you're letting the hot air in so it's kind of almost humid inside it wasn't that i thought was kind of dumb also, they have these booths there, which are really large. They're like, the seats are very deep and they're high up, so you have to step up into them. And when, I, when you sit down, if you're a short person, your feet don't touch the ground. Well, if you're somebody like me, who has kind of some circulation issues, <laughs> uh, let's just say. I can't sit in those. I tried sitting in it, I was really uncomfortable. And my son, when he sat back, he thought there was a cushion behind him and whacked his head. So either they need to get cushions for the back of those booths, or they shouldn't have made them so big. But that's, you know, if you like sitting cross, like, uh, cross-legged, I would say Indian style, but that's not politically correct. If you like sitting cross-legged and you and you're thinner, you know, uh, you know, you like crossing your legs and stuff. That's probably a good place for you to sit because it's 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 kind of like a comfortable spot. But if you're like me and you rather just sit with your feet on the ground, don't sit there. <laughs> but other than that, I think the place was great. Uh, on the inside, they had this bike hanging on the wall in there, which they took the two wheels of the bike and they made the word food. Hanging on wall. It was really cool. I thought it was very really clever. Uh, I really like the, the whole decoration of the whole place. And I'm definitely going to go back there again. That's Crafted in Joliet on Route 30. Crafted. C-R-A-F-T apostrophe D. Crafted on Route 30. Go check it out. Have yourself a peanut butter and pig and call it a day. 
So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, tap that notify bell so you know when the next video is coming out. And remember, I thank you for watching. And before you take the first bite, you got to stuff it in your pie hole. I know food is...